Yo, what's poppin' guys, and welcome back to the long-awaited, uh, I think 8th or 7th, I think it's 8th, episode of the RPG game tutorial. I finally thought of another idea of what to add. I have another one on the way, uh, which next videos, hopefully, unless I come up with something else before then, uh, will be turn-based, uh, battling, because right now you see that the battling that we that we uh, had was not turn-based. It was just, you walk up to the enemy and you stab him in the face, right? People, Some people didn't want that. Some people wanted a turn-based system, so I'm going to create one of those. But that's not what we're covering today. Today, I'm going to teach you how to add cosmetics. If you don't know what a cosmetic is, um, it's like hats. You know, put on a hat, put on some, some sick clothes, you know, just stuff for your character to wear. Maybe this, uh, maybe these items will boost stats. Maybe a hat can give you plus 10 health or plus 10 max health. Who knows? Either way, we're going to get into how to do that, uh, right now. So first thing I want to do is I want to pick a place for our guy to be. So we'll put him in here. We'll put him in here. So, we're going to duplicate our test NPC, and we are going to call this Cosmetic Man. Alright, so, let's have him show. I'll make the cosmetic, what color should he be? We're all following a theme of, like, color. Uh, we have a red, we have, uh, we're blue, let's do a pink. Let's do a pink, how about that? And I'll put Cosmetic Boy up here. We already know... How to how to make them go where we want them to go. So remember, if bat drop name, I don't remember the name. It's been a bit since I've done this test building. How about we just do backdrop number? Huh? How about that? That's a uh, it's a lot easier. If backdrop number is four. We'll go to and you can check right here where they are when you place them where you want them to be. Just in case you forgot. I just realized my mouse isn't showing. I'ma fix that. All right, there we go. Here's our mouse. It's back. <laughs> All right, you can check right here to be able to see uh, where your character is once you've placed them where you'd like them. Then we will put down that because uh, X is 213 and Y is 101. That's 10, 101. There we go. So when it comes to the talk test, we will stop the controls like normal so our character can't move while we're talking to him. And, uh... Obviously, you could set up like a shop menu for this if you'd want to know how to make a shop um, There's a tutorial on how to create uh, Like stores and shops in this series already. So go check the playlist and go find that video I'm just n I'm not gonna do that just because that's a lot of th like I don't need to show you how to do that right now since you guys already know how to but anyways, we'll just have it say something like uh, Okay, here's what we'll do I'll do, okay, we'll ask a question. So again, I definitely wouldn't do it like this. I definitely do it like maybe a questing system. Maybe I'll show you how to do quests. That might be a fun one, uh, but we'll do, so maybe I I'd do like a shop or like some kind of thing you have to do to get it. I wouldn't do this. This is just purely for tutorial reasons. So we'll have you ask, um, would you, we'll have like, would you like a hat? Or a, I don't know, wig. See, just like that. And then we'll say, we'll grab an if, else. And I'll do equals, come to sensing, grab answer, put it in the first bubble. Say hat. Again, I wouldn't do this. Put this. Do whatever you want to be able to get your hat. If this is seriously what you want to do to give you a cosmetic, go right ahead, man. But if you want to do a shop, again, I have a shop tutorial up. Uh, see, look, here's our shop, man. You can have this little shop tutorial right here. Very, uh, well, I wouldn't say it's easy because it's, it's definitely not like a beginner thing for sure. But you, you get it. So there's like a hat or a wig. If the player says hat, I want to create a, uh, I won't do this as a variable. I'll do this as a list. We'll do this as a list. And I'll make this list. We will make it, um, how would I, how would I call this? I'll do character slots. That's what I'll call it. Call it character slots for what our character is currently, you know, wearing, you know? So character slots, we'll just put it down here and then hide it. <laughs> so on top of that, since we're doing this, we're obviously going to want to set 
uh, to delete all of the character slots when the green flag is clicked. And then we will select how many slots we want. I want, um, yeah, let's say I want four. I want one for helmet. So we already want four, one for the helmet, the breastplate, uh, your leggings and your footwear, right? Let's say we also want maybe like a ring. So yeah, and then we'll also add a ring. How about that? Sounds good, right? Five. So five times you will add zero to character slots. Okay, there you go. That just sets it so that we'll have five slots open and ready to use. They just won't have anything in it. So if you want to use like something else besides zero to show that there's nothing in that slot, this zero, this number right here that you're going to put right here will just show that there's nothing in the slot. I'm just going to do zero because it's, it's, uh, it's easy. So, so if answer equals hat, since a hat would be technically on the top, meaning, okay, so here, I'll do this. I'll do this just so we can show what each of these mean. So one is a headwear two is a breastplate three is leggings four is footwear and five is ring that's how it'll be so again we run this real quick and you can see that Bam, we have five. So one, headwear, two, breastplate. You get it. Cool. I'll just keep that there for if people come and look at the tutorial project. So there's like a hat, yes. Then we will grab a replace right here. Replace item one because it is a hat, right? So it, it is a headwear. So replace one of character slots with hat. Again, you name this whatever item you want, right? <laughs> that's, that's, what she, that's what it'd be. Maybe it's like... Uh, a, a goblin skull that you're gonna put on your head you name it like goblin skull or however you want to do it maybe you'll do it with numbers and you'll have IDs right or like each item has a different ID like we've been doing before you get it you get it okay I'm just gonna do hat for tutorial purposes place item one with hat and then say I don't know maybe we'll hide the NPC so you can't get both of them and said you have your hat uh, we'll do that for like 1.5 seconds, and then we'll just do a... Yeah. I'll be going now. 1.5 seconds. And then I'll just have him like hide or something, and then give his, give his controls back. <laughs> I don't know. Again, don't don't set up this either, because then you can just leave and come back. Seriously, this is just for tutorial purposes. That's literally it. And then we will do... Uh, grab this hat thing, put it in the else. And then if they choose wig... They will switch uh, one character slot with wig. And then instead it'll say like, you have, you, like, I don't know, you have your wig. Good, good job. You have it. You'll be going now. And then boom. Now you'll see that, see, I'll, okay, I'll, we'll show it, we'll show it. So character slots. Boom, boom. It runs that little bit of code. We come, okay, hold up. We come up here. We come over and we talk to our cosmetic man. Would you like, okay, well, just, would you like a hat or a wig? We say hat. It sets our one to a hat and he'll be going now. Okay, he shows up again. Again, literally the only reason he's doing that is because forever. So again, I wouldn't do anything like that. But we talk to him again and we say wig instead, maybe. You have your wig, sets it to wig. There we go. So we have a consistency. Basically, we can set our cosmetics to something, right? So, now we actually have to create these cosmetics. What I'd recommend doing is coming to our player sprite and grabbing them. And then we create a new sprite and we'll call it cosmetics. There we go. Make sure you paste your player and make sure to not move him, okay? We'll call this blank. Okay, and then we'll duplicate it instantaneously, okay? Now you'll design, keep in mind, your player will always be facing this way. This is what way your player is facing, okay? So create all of your designs in mind that the player is facing in that direction, okay? So first we'll design a hat. Uh, I'm just gonna do a very basic kind of hat, you know? Uh, again, I wouldn't use black since that's what we use to sense. So I just do 0010 instead. 
and then our fill perfect and then hat place it where you'd want it on the character like I'll say oh my goodness that was bad so like right here so it looks like he's wearing the hat and then you'll just delete the player and then keep the hat where it is so I'll call this hat then I'll make one more duplicate blank and now we'll make a wig let's make this wig like brown maybe you know, like a brown wig brown wig okay here's the wig grab the wig put it where we'd want it on the player oh we'll make it a little bit bigger there we'll put we want it right here then just delete the player name it wig or whatever you're gonna name it and then boom you have two different cosmetics Perfect. Uh oh, I deleted it. Uh oh, I deleted it. That's not good. All right, there. Quick slap together another one. All right. All right. I figured out what I did wrong, guys. I'm actually stupid. <laughs> Take your guy. Put him here. Yeah, it goes on this side. I'm sorry, because our player directions are all messy and gross. <laughs> so, sorry there. Very. That was very dumb on my end. Very dumb on my end. Okay, there, just like that. Now what we'll do is we'll come to the code of the cosmetics and I'll grab out a one green flag. I clicked. I'll zoom in a bit so you can see better. And then we will do a instant hide. We will come to events, grab when I receive. And we will come on down to our play. And then we will do a forever. And if else. So forever, we're gonna wanna go to the front. Just because it's always has to be on top of our player. That's very important. So go to front. Grab an equals from operators and put it in here. Then we will grab. And this is this will be for uh, all of the. This will be for our head cosmetics. We're gonna, so for each of them, you want to duplicate this for all five of the things. Being, you know, head, breast, uh, legs, boots, and then ring or however other kind of things you have going on. I'll just do this for the head. I do it. You could do it all in one. I just find that it's a lot more work and it's a lot more confusing. So if item one of character slots, cause that's head one is head equals zero. Then we, there is a plane flying over my uh, building at the moment. So if it's zero, meaning there's nothing there, we want an actual blank sprite. So maybe I'll, I'll switch this guy's name to, uh, I don't know, like set up and I'll grab this and name this thing blank. So if it equals zero, you will set the costume to blank. Also, don't forget to f show it forever too. set the costume to blank. Oh my goodness, that is not how I was meant to go. Put this part in here, just duplicate it, put it in there. If it equals hat, or whatever the name of your item is, uh, we will switch it to hat. If it equals wig, switch it to wig. You get it, it's very easy. So now, what we're going to do, and again, if you want to do it in an even easier way, you could just do forever, something like, we could just do this, right? Forever. Switch costume to item one of character slots. And that does the same thing, right? Item one of character slots, wig. So you switch the costume to wig. Same thing. It's just depending on the kind of system you're using, whether you're using names, if the names differ between, you know, what it says here and the name of it, case sensitive, like that'll mess it up a little bit. You might want to do the other option, but since I'm doing it this way, this works just fine for my case. Meaning then, yes, in the same place, you could, uh, you know. Okay, we'll, we'll get it. For each cosmetic also, oh yeah, hold up, hold up, hold up. That's actually important. Each cosmetic sprite will be something different. So you have head cosmetics, breast cosmetics, stuff like that. Make sure these are each different things. So when you make your breast cosmetic, make a new sprite for it, okay? That's very important for me to say. <laughs> Even though the has cosmetic head cosmetic, if you're doing a top down like this, will probably be the only thing you see. We're not gonna talk about it though. So you have your thing that'll set it up for you. And uh, yeah, that's that's it. The only other thing you're gonna want to do is forever. We will go to player, and we gotta come to up to our player, and you'll see we have player direction, right? 
So we will also forever point, uh, not point towards, point in, come to variable, and slap player direction in there. Now, that's perfect. So I'm just going to hide this list because we don't need it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a check and see if it works. Okay, well, we already have it here. That is because, okay, yes. Here, here's already our issue, right? So one of character slots is zero. There is no zero here. So let's actually make this blank, maybe call it zero for my situation. Okay, maybe that'll make it work a small bit better. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, there we go, okay. All right, let's head up to the building and come and talk to our boy. Would you like a hat? I'd like a hat. You have your hat, I'll be going now. He doesn't actually leave though. There we go. Now the hat stays on. And now the hat stays on the right way. You'll see it kind of does this weird thing where it like almost lags behind. That's just how it works. Sometimes it does that and sometimes it doesn't. I don't know what to do to make it always not do that. You'll realize that sometimes when you're testing, it'll move like, like this weird kind of lag behind thing. And then sometimes it won't. It's weird. It stays. Look at that. We got our little hat right on us. A beautiful little hat. We'll come talk to this guy. I want a wig instead now. I have my wig. You'll be going now. Except boop. And then bam. I have my wig. It's beautiful. And you also see that your wig can go through walls. But don't worry. You can't. You can't still. Don't even worry. So, yeah. Your cosmetics. Beautiful cosmetics. Whoa. Okay. Great. Now, what if we want this to give us specific perks? Okay, let me take a quick see look see at what we can do about that. Psych, just kidding. This video is already getting long enough as it is, and I don't want to kill uh, Koj while he tries to edit this. I don't want him to give him like a 45 minute video. He's going to be like, <laughs> <laughs> at least not with the tutorial video, because I feel like tutorial videos are a bit more difficult to edit. I don't know. Tell me, Koj. Are they more difficult to edit than normal videos? Huh, good to know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, sorry it took months upon months for another episode to come out. Well, alright, I want to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content, then help me out a lot. Uh, we're growing pretty quick, and that's really cool. I really like that. We're already up to 1.4k. If we can get to 1.5k, that'd be awesome. Uh, join Discord link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, Coach, for being your editor. Peace. Yes. Coach, don't you think this hair is beautiful? Coach loves my art.